Well, I started uh, in 2008 in the regional workshop, which was held in Gaborone, Botswana. Uh, and immediately I was uh, supported by ECB. Uh, I had bursary program uh, immediately for Poznan. And Poznan was for my first COP where I was a bit confused, but uh, I was having senior negotiators who were coaching us and doing uh, ECBI pre COP workshops. So we were able to get a better picture and were relatively advantageous compared to others who are just diving into negotiations. So my first COP was just going around and looking what's happening. And then uh, next year, uh, we were reorganizing ourselves to be court member. And uh, at that time, I was able to focus on mitigation related issues. So we're like 10 people, court members, who have been supporting the coordinators. And at the same time, we gradually become coordinators for the thematic areas like KP issues, mitigation, this review process and a number of stuff. So wherever there's a gap we were able to fill in, uh, it's because we just started with uh, being a court member who provide technical backup to the coordinators. That, that, that creates the increase in the confidence within our service. Actually, we benefited a lot from the different synthesis reports which have been prepared by IID. And uh, actually, we make use of that to capacitate our service. And I'm really great for, for that opportunity. Otherwise, it could have been a bit difficult. And for the last eight or nine years, I've been supported by IID just without interruption. So that makes a consistency in terms of engagement in the process. Otherwise, like if I was supported by uh, government, sometimes you may not have a chance to be engaged because focal points have been changing from one institution to the other. And of course, it's only limited number of people will be uh, selected by the government. So it should be a bit difficult to be engaged in the process for nearly 10 years if I was not supported by IID. Well, uh, we used to be technical backup to the group for almost eight, nine years. Then when it comes to Chamaji Patwa, I think uh, I felt that the group has uh, confidence on me. So uh, I've been elected by the group uh, a year ago. Uh, actually, it's a mixed uh, view in terms of, I mean, because uh, expectation that your colleagues are going to have from you while you are being coordinating just specific thematic area, now you need to know everything. Uh, that's that's uh, kind of frustration, but I think thanks to the uh, support team I have, I, I, I managed to cope up with uh, all the issues. And now we are trying our best uh, for the voice of the group to be better heard using different approaches. And for that, I have developed my two-year work plan, which is focusing on uh, negotiation support as well as supporting countries in the implementation of the Paris Agreement. So I hope I, I'm trying my best to uh, address at least prioritized activities within my three year work plan. If, if you look at most of the coordinators, they pass through this process. So uh, even if you look at Faustman, the former uh, and the chair, you start, you start through ECBI process and uh, myself and a number of coordinators who, who just come up with this process. So I think that, that that's the, the, uh, the uh, point where we need to recognize about the, uh, this initiative. Otherwise, it could have been a really a very big vacuum uh, from its perspective if such kind of support wouldn't have been provided. Well, uh, at the beginning, when you just start, you, know, you need to know, you, you, you just, you beggar to know everything. But as a human being, with your background, and the time will not allow you to know everything. So, better to know a bit of everything, but it's better to focus and specialize on one issue, which 
your background will give you support. Otherwise, I think it's good to know everything, but it's impossible at the same time.